Hey everybody, Steve Everleth here, Livermore, California, real estate. How's everybody doing? So I wanted to bring a real estate, Livermore real estate market update uh, this morning to everyone uh, and how this whole coronavirus thing is affecting the current Livermore market at this time. So as of today, March 19th, 2020, uh, surprisingly, the market is still moving along. I would say it's not in the fast lane, not in the slow lane. I would say it's right in the middle lanes. Uh, properties are still moving. There are still buyers out there writing offers and shopping, uh, but I'm not going to lie to anybody. Let's keep it real. Uh, there's definitely a beginning of a hit. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a hit. I'm not sure uh, as far as how much it's going to affect <clears throat> Livermore current home values. And what I mean by a hit is it's more of a hit um, to other fellow realtors, colleagues, and brokers uh, that I'm speaking with uh, personally that I know and forums and mastermind groups and Facebook pages. <clears throat> And in the last three or four days, I would probably say 75% of realtors at least had one buyer or seller, if not multiple, two, three, four buyers or sellers. And it all depends how much business they're doing and how many deals they had in their pipe and at what stages their deals were at. Um, buyers have pulled back, uh, put things off. Uh, canceled their contracts um, and sellers have decided to wait to sell. Um, however, there are still a significant amount of, amount of buyers and sellers out there that are still making moves uh, in the marketplace. Uh, you know, maybe a property gets one or two offers instead of 10, which is kind of a healthy thing anyway. Uh, I think the market was so hot and moving so fast. This may seem like kind of a weird thing to say, but I, I believe that this coronavirus thing actually slowed the market down to probably what it should have been uh, before it's so smoking hot for all these years, right? So um, I'm not seeing any major inventory buildup on MLS, which is a great thing. Uh, in 08 or 07 when the market tanked, I think it was the summer of 07 uh, or summer of 08 where we, we literally went from 15 homes to over 300 homes in two months on MLS, right? So I just checked this morning. Uh, there's only 61 Livermore homes currently available on the market for sale. That's about the same amount that's been on the market for the past couple of months. Uh, if you go back to the summer, uh, you go back to uh, spring and summer of last year, same amount, 50, 60, 70, maybe it went up to 80 once in a while, homes on the market, goes back down to 50 or 60. So we're seeing that stay really stable. That's a really good sign. Uh, one of the first signs that we are going to see a market dip or a tank or God forbid a crash is you start to see uh, a bunch of sellers panicking to sell or hurry and get their homes on the market to catch the high and make their moves. Um, we're definitely not seeing that. Um, and I'm also seeing uh, buyers out there who are taking this coronavirus seriously, but they're not putting their life on hold because of it. Uh, one of my uh, buyers, little family, they've got a got one one kid and one on the way, and they need a four bedroom home to buy and you know, they, they need to buy. They're going to continue to go out there and shop and buy. Uh, a lot of the mentality of buyers out there is they realize that real estate is a long-term investment. They're in it for the long game. They're in it for 10, 20, 30 years. You know, they realize that, you know, in light of any circumstances out there, the highs, the lows, the in-betweens, that real estate is a great place to not only park your money for an investment, but it's also uh, something that you need for security for your family. And everybody needs a place to live. I don't care what's going on out there. You know, when it comes to needing somewhere to, to live, you got two choices. You got to rent or you got to buy one or the other. You always need a place to live. So 
Definitely uh, not seeing any huge surges of inventory coming on. I believe there were 40 solds in the past six weeks. Again, that's about typical to what's been happening uh, for the past couple of years. You know, every year, every month, every other month, you're seeing 30, 40 solds, uh, pendings. Uh, there's 40 pendings over the past six weeks. So again, things are still moving. The question of the day is, what's going to happen in the immediate near future. Um, I'm here to tell you that I don't know that. The news, uh, well, maybe the news knows, maybe the president knows that. <laughs> Let's not get carried away with politics. But I don't know, and, and there's no realtor out there that knows what's going to happen in the immediate future. And I definitely am not the, the realtor that's going to tell you, oh, my God, you got to hurry up and buy, or oh, my God, you got to hurry up and sell. And, and push anybody to make any decisions that they're not comfortable making, uh, you know, in light of the, the circumstances of the coronavirus. Um, but what I will say is that if your life circumstances um, are, are not necessarily forcing you, but promoting you to, to want to make a move in real estate, I feel like, um, you know, it's pretty much the same game that it was a month ago. You know, if you're selling, you're more than likely, if you're priced right and your home's nice, there's still some buyers out there that are going to make an offer to, you know, if you're out there buying, uh, you, things are pretty much, you may, uh, have an advantage in the sense that you, uh, may not have to compete with as many multiple offers. You may be able to take advantage a little bit of this. Um, you know, somewhat uh, uncertain states uh, of, of the economy. And, you know, you may be able to, uh, you know, get a home for a reasonable price and not have to pay 20, 30, 40 K over, which, you know, you were having to do a month or two. Um, the other question of the day is what's going to happen in the the long term of real estate. And that is really, truly an unknown. Um, you know, as long as people are working and they're getting subsidized and they're getting a paycheck, they're working from home, uh, nothing changes with their income. Um, I feel like people are going to keep buying homes. Uh, if we get to this some kind of crazy point where uh, we get some 10, 20 percent unemployment rate, uh, people are not getting compensated, their income changes, they're not getting a paycheck, uh, and that spreads widely. Uh, throughout all sectors of the industries, um, I believe that real estate could take a hit. Uh, how much it could take a hit, I, I don't know. Um, I know that a lot of sellers have this mentality right now where um, it, it, they'd rather hold on to their home and wait rather than sell for a discount. Uh, real estate is typically the last thing to go. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a situation like we saw in 08, 09, and 10, where everybody's throwing their keys up in the air and, and walking away from their home and leaving it sit and letting it go to foreclosure. I highly, highly doubt that's going to happen. Uh, most people that have bought homes in the past 10 years have you know, 10, 20, 30, 50 percent equity in their homes. Uh, their homes is their security, and they're going to do whatever it takes to make that mortgage payment. A lot of people have reserves. A lot of people have lines of credit. I uh, believe you. Know, hopefully, this this I don't know what the stimulus package is going to be uh, from the feds. You know, to uh, to keep people keep a paycheck in people's hands. I think that that part kind of affects the more the middle class. You know, or the people that I don't say middle class. The people that. Um, uh, you know, on the lower end of the income uh, income tree where, you know, they just might be living paycheck to paycheck, renting, um, you know, that, uh, you know, the people that own homes, they, they typically have some savings, like I said, have some lines of credit, have some reserves. Uh, and I believe that, the you know, there's going to be laws and act that are going to, uh, help uh, people with, you know, to where the banks aren't going to be foreclosing. They're going to be working with people. Somebody can't make a payment. So re it's really too early to tell how this thing's going to affect the real estate market, how much, you know, if it goes away in a couple months, I don't think it's going to affect the real estate market one bit. If this thing goes into six months and we go into really 
hard times where, like I said, we go into 10, 20, 30 percent unemployment rate. People stop getting a paycheck and can't make their mortgages and people can't qualify to get loans to buy homes. That's when we're going to see real estate take a hit. But I truly believe there's going to be all kinds of stimulus packages. You know, the, the feds and the big money institution banks out there, they, they, they know that if that happens, you know, the, the shit not only is going to hit the fan for the average person, the shit's going to hit the fan for them. And they're not going to make any money either. And they don't want that. So more than likely, they're going to come to the rescue, you know, whether it's giving people money to buy homes again or 100 percent financing or whatever it is. You know, unfortunately, sometimes when they do these bailout things, instead of just kind of letting the cards fall where they fall, they do these bailout things to keep the market going when maybe they should just kind of really rethink and reposition where the money's going, where the money's coming from, who's going to pay the money back and what the long term debt is going to look like, because sometimes it can actually, you know, hurt us in the long run, help us in the short term and hurt us in the long run. Or who knows, our kids' kids are going to be paying back these taxes and all that. So, you know, it's a vicious game out there. But anyway, so real estate, it's its its getting back to the basics. Livermore real estate seems to be fine at this time. Pending sales, sold sales are still moving. Inventory has slowed down a little bit. I believe that everybody is just kind of in a limbo status right now. The people that don't have to buy or kind of tire kick and they're, they're kind of taking a step back for a little bit. The sellers that don't have to sell or in life circumstances, they're kind of sitting back too and evaluating things. Nobody wants to be caught in the middle of this thing if there is going to be a hit um, in real estate and be caught in this thing with their with their pants down, so to speak. So, um, you know, I just did a, did a form, uh, uh, interacted with a form uh, on Facebook um, yesterday. It was the Lab Coat Agents. And I asked a question, you know, besides myself, how many realtors are taking a hit and what they're seeing? And there was probably 60, 70 uh, engagements and conversations there. And like I said, probably 75% of the realtors out there have lost at least one to three or four clients in the past few days. And that's, um, you know, that's, that's a little bit of a hit. Uh, what I can say that on the flip side of that, and this is kind of what happens and how the real estate market goes anyway, is when things cool off a little bit, it's, it's just more of a surplus of buyers building up that when things go back to normal, you get surges of buyers buying again, right? Like it's like the freaking the, the traffic control signal at the freeway, right? The freeway's moving along, you know, the cars are backed up, boom, you get a green light once in a while, a bunch of people get on the freeway, start going, you boom, you get a red light, everybody stops and back up, boom, green light, boom, everybody goes into the marketplace, just like real, just like the real estate marketplace, you get surges. So, you know, my advice out there, you know, if you want to buy a home, you're still getting a steady paycheck, your, your uh, employer, your company, if you're self-employed, things are pretty steady and stable for you. I would say go ahead and, and do what you got to do. Make a move and, and have a leap of faith and hope for the best and maybe get a decent decent little deal on a home without having to fight for it and pay way over. Uh, if you're a seller, uh, if your home is priced right and it's nice, there's still buyers out there. They're doing what they should be doing with lowering interest rates, uh, making payments more affordable and lower uh, to anybody who wants to buy a home. And like I said, if your job is steady and you got a paycheck coming in, you know, go ahead and maybe consider making a move. If you're staying in it for the long run, you got some reserves, you're pretty confident. You know, I hope this thing goes away in a few months. Uh, we shall see. I uh, wish everybody the best. And if you ever have any questions or want to talk shop, please contact me. Have a great day. Thanks for watching my video.